Hey guys, Anders from Transforming ADHD here. I sometimes get the question or see in comments stuff like, is ADHD a disease? Or some will even say, my, my boy has this disease called ADHD. And I'm like, oh no, no, please don't call it that. This is a brief riff on the awesomeness of people with the ADHD diagnosis. When I started working with the, my first client with the ADHD diagnosis, I, when I made the arrangement to see him, I didn't know much about ADHD at all. But I quickly learned a lot about it from working with him, but also from reading all the books and papers and whatnot. When you look at the ADHD diagnosis criteria, you're looking at 18 criteria that are all about the person's behavior. The problem only working with behavior is behavior is a result of what's going on inside of you. You can't have any behavior or your child can't have any behavior if there isn't a lot of stuff going on inside of you, especially if it's inappropriate or inexpedient behavior. Now, this could be mental strategies about how your cognitive functions, executive functions um, do their job. It could be emotional emotions getting in your way, emotional states hijacking you. It could be thoughts, inner voices, whatnot, that are inappropriate or inexpedient in some way that doesn't allow you to do things in a good way. It could be beliefs about yourself, about other people, about society in general. It could be your sense of self and your self-worth. All these things, your motivations, all these things are in you in your cognitive abilities and if they're in your way you have dysfunctional or inappropriate or inexpedient behavior now looking at that as a disease is just not how i roll because having a diagnosis that describes your behavior does not say anything about your ability to make cognitive transformation or even small changes. It does say you have problems. But if you think of it as a disease, then you think of it, then you'll most likely think of it as something that is either constant in you that you can't change, or you'll think of it as something that only medication can change. There's plenty of proof that you need to do other things than medication. I'm talking about how this magnificent brain of yours really has enormous power and potential to transform the things that are not working for you. So to the answer, is ADHD a disease? My answer is no. ADHD is a difference in cognition. It's not a disease, it's not brain dysfunction. There's really nothing wrong with us, except we're different. We're differently wired and so many good things come out of that. If you look at the entrepreneurial literature, it's all about being wired differently. If you look at artists, they're all wired differently. If you look at a lot of different non-conformity uh, ways of living in life, you'll see these are people that are wired differently. Maybe they have an ADHD diagnosis. Maybe they have another one. Maybe they, ca they can't get either of all these diagnoses, but who cares? They're wired differently and they're living awesome lives. What you need to do is figure out how you can live an awesome, awesome life, how you can get all that awesomeness you have inside of you out because you are. And the sooner you realize that, the faster your transformation is going to be. This was a, an ADHD awesomeness riff from Anders Ronau. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. And I hope that you're inspired to live a life of awesomeness. Also, please give the video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and do whatever it needs to, to whatever you need to do to be awesome.